This is the beginning of Mark chapter 2. He says, Kai is el son palim, es cafarnaum, diemeron, e custes hoti, en oiko estin. So who's the subject here? It's Jesus. Remember, chapter 1 ended with Jesus wanting to get out of any city because people were searching for him desperately. He heard that he healed that he healed the leper. And after hearing this incredible miracle, they couldn't leave him alone. Jesus could not enter any city publicly because they would just jump on him right away. So he stayed, he tended to stay outside in deserted place to, to pray away from the crowd. But of course, Jesus cannot stay away from the crowd forever. So in this particular moment, the chapter, second chapter of the Gospel of Mark starts with Jesus finally, after taking a pause, coming back to his city from which he has started the, the, the public ministry, which is Capernaum. And so Mark says, Kai, and Jesus is the subject understood, Ezelzon, we've seen this verb many times. This is a participle in the aorist tense um, of the irregular verb eis erchomai, okay, eis erchomai. Now, we have commented on this verb many times. Um, there is this preposition eis, which means into, and the verb erchomai, which is to go. So this verb means to go into, meaning to enter, okay, to enter. And in the aorist, third person singular simply means he entered. In the participle, we can translate it, and after he entered, or having entered, having entered, what? Well, ace, kafarnaum. You see this preposition, ace, ace is the same one, it's into. And where is Jesus entering? Into the city of Capernaum, Capernaum, okay? And entering the city of Capernaum, or entering into Capernaum, Palin. This palin is just an adverb and it means again. Again. Why? Because that city, Capernaum, is the city where Jesus had started his ministry. So he's coming back again to that city. Okay? So the first part of the verse simply says, and entering again into Capernaum, dihemeron. Now, this D with this apostrophe is, um, is a preposition. The preposition is dia. Now, dia may mean many things. Um, in this particular case, connected with this hemeron, which is a genitive plural, uh, gives us a temporal indication. Okay. Why? Because hemera means day. So hemeron in genitive plural means days. And so it's basically saying that in days, literally, in a few days, after a few days, okay? So he's giving a temporal indication that Jesus stayed outside in deserted places probably for a few days, maybe a week, maybe more, and then after some days, he went back to the city of Capernaum. So the, ver the, the verse goes like this, and entering again into Capernaum after some days, and this is the principal verb. Ecuse. Now, ecuse comes from the verb acuo, acuo, um, from which the English term acoustic, for example, comes from. It has something to do with listening, hearing, okay? And in fact, acuo means to hear, to hear, okay? In this particular form, ecuse, it's conjugated in the, again, aorist tense, but it's a passive form, okay? It's a passive form in the third person uh, singular, third person singular. So literally it means it was heard. It was heard, okay? And after entering again to Capernaum after a few days, it was heard. It's sort of an impersonal way of saying they heard, we could say in English, they heard. They heard what? Hoti. Now, Hoti, we found this part, um, particle uh, sometimes. It means that, okay, they heard that, 
okay? Or simply we can completely erase it, forget about it, and, thinks, and think that here starts some kind of direct speech, okay? And they heard, what did they hear? And in fact, Mark jumps from the past, from the Aorist tense, to the present. Esteem. He does it all the time, and he does it on purpose to make his narration more vivid. So what is this rumor that is going about, uh, around? Well, in oiko esteem. Well, esteem is the verb to be, okay? Is the verb to be in the third person singular of the present indicative, okay? Present indicative. He is, okay? It means he is, esteem. He's where? En oiko. Well, en is a preposition, which means en, very simple. Once the dative, in fact, you see the dative with the uh, omega with the yoda subscript. Um, and oiko is the house, is the house, okay? So this is the place where he was. He was in the house. He was home, okay? So the verb um, means to be. It's in the present. It's contrasted with the artist of Akuste, because uh, Mark wants us to hear what people were saying as if we were there, okay? So we could translate, and after a few days, he entered again into Capernaum, and they heard he's in the house, okay? Mark is reporting the vivid words of the people that we're talking to each other saying, he's home, he's back. Let's go visit him. What home was it? Well, probably the home of Peter, the same home that he had entered that Sabbath to heal Peter's mother-in-law. By the way, if you like the channel, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.